Tesla has launched a retrofit program for autopilot cameras on older vehicles with the full self-driving package. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you are here first time. Starting with the introduction of its Autopilot 2.0 suite of sensors in 2016, Tesla started selling all of its cars with the promise that they have all the hardware necessary to achieve full self-driving capability with future software updates. This promise has helped Tesla to sell vehicles, but it turned out to be inaccurate, notes Electric in today's coverage. Electric says the automaker had to update its autopilot hardware several times, including with a new computer that Tesla included as a retrofit for autopilot 2.0 owners who bought the full self-driving package. Over the years, there have been rumors that Tesla would need to upgrade more than the computer to achieve self-driving capability. Those rumors have ramped recently since no autopilot 2.0 owners with the new full self-driving computer reported getting the full self-driving beta despite achieving a 100 on 100 safety scores in the app, which is Tesla's requirement to get the new software. Electric reports that last month, Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed that Autopilot 2.0 vehicles are going to need camera upgrades, which those who ordered the FSD package will get for free. Today, Tesla launched its retrofit program through an in-app message to eligible owners. Here's what that message says, I quote, as an owner with full self-driving capability and early production cameras, your VIN, the, the VI, uh, VIN number is there, you are eligible for complimentary autopilot camera upgrade. Camera replacements are required to access a continuously expanding suite of full self-driving capability features. To arrange your complimentary camera replacements, schedule a new appointment from the service menu in your Tesla app, select schedule service, upgrades and accessories, autopilot camera. Friends, Electric says it is unclear how many vehicles are eligible for the retrofit, but it is expected to put a strain on Tesla services team for the next few weeks because those people who have great scores and fit this uh, uh, fit this requirement or fit this category, they will need to do this to get a free complimentary camera update so they can use uh, the full self-driving capability. But the good news is that this adds another value to used Tesla vehicles. So a vehicle bought before 2016 still is an appreciating asset because you get complimentary free camera and full self-driving. Well, let me know your thoughts. Are you in, have any one of you, if you are a Tesla owner, received this package? What is the message says? What are your plans? How are you going to do it? Have you contacted the Tesla service? And when is your appointment? Let us know in the comment section below. Whenever you hear this message, please, it will be interesting to read your thoughts and opinions. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news updates. We'll continue the discussion in the comment section below. Give us thumbs up for this report please if you like it and uh, god bless you peace be with all of you and let's move on to our next tesla story it looks like there is need for another tesla stock split there is a conversation on tesla investor community for a need to split the tesla share i stress this is not a rumor that tesla stock will split but just a conversation that there is a need for splitting the Tesla stock. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Like this video if you find it helpful, please. Yesterday, Gary Black, managing partner, the Future Fund LLC, whose Twitter account says SEC registered investment advisor with 39, uh, 93,000 followers, wrote a tweet about the need to split the Tesla stock. In that tweet, he wrote, investors are asking about potential Tesla stock split this week. I have no info, but timing in the second week of month fits the cadence of board meetings before earnings and five to one stock split announced at 1,374 on 8-11-2020. Still noise from a stock split seems too loud right now. 
a regular Tesla Twitter, Ray for Tesla, retweeted Black's tweet with message of his own saying, yes, the expectation for another stock split is just way too high and put two smilings next to it. But then he added, it's possible when the stock price hits $2,000. Regarding Tesla's next stock split, apparently Elon Musk has said in the past, maybe next year, and uh, well, at least someone quote him on Twitter saying that, and it's not verified. Anyway, in my opinion, there is no point in hoping for a split for right now, but even maybe for a few months. I don't know. What do you think, friends? What, what are your opinions? While I'm not in the stock market and don't have positions, in my opinion, what is the point for any company keeping its stock price above $1,000? Just look good or reduce the chance of um, falling below $1,000 in extreme case? Shouldn't they be more investor friendly? Maybe more people will buy and invest in stocks and speed up the transition to electrification of vehicles. On the other hand, other people comment on YouTube and say the higher the stock the more Elon is forced to pay in taxes when his options west and he executes. He isn't going to announce a split until he executes those options. With the Tesla stock price heating up again, it's getting closer to the same price where it split last year. While it split soon, will it split soon? What do you think? I don't know. I don't think a split would immediately move the stock as it did before. Even this Musk stock sale, uh, tax fundraising or whatever, didn't move it so much, right? It's going up and down based on performance and earnings, which is a good thing. Tesla stock is moving based on performance and earnings. And uh, I think the Tesla stock may split again after it hits $1,400 to $1,500 because that is where it was when they did the last split. That's why Gary Black says maybe in two weeks. I don't know if that will hit that much in two weeks. But there is no, another thing. The more cheap the stock is, the more traders, day traders and swing traders will manipulate it. And uh, therefore, it's the positive thing that the Tesla stock is above $1,000. It's good for serious investors, but it's not good for people who can't afford to invest that much. So I would like to hear your thoughts, friends. What do you think? What are your things? Is it a good thing to split Tesla stock right now or is it a bad thing? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage because I do several stories every day. And also give us thumbs up, please uh, like this video if you found the information useful and share it in social media. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Peace be with all of you and your families. And I'll see you soon to our, in our next report. So let's move to our next report.